Hey everyone, welcome to turn 4 of the Medieval 2 Britannia campaign where we're playing 4 versus 1 against Legend of Total War. I'm playing as Norway. Now, let's see what's going on here. Alright, so nothing has really changed here. Uh, I am actually, I do have a fair amount of cash this turn. Now, Legend's taken Lancaster and Chester, uh, which were to be expected. Uh, I left them ungarrisoned. Now, I did notice that he has also destroyed my army here. Um, I can't say I was really expecting them to survive. I hoped, but that was really their only chance of surviving. Um, but Legend did scout it, apparently, and kill them. I do still have my spy, though. So, I'm going to send him north. He's no use to me down here anymore. And, on the way, let's get some experience. Good. Okay. And, good. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's move along up. Why do you need to go that way? Oh well. Moving up this way. So you can see York and a couple other things going on out here. Alright, so what else are we doing? Okay. This situation here is a little bit complex. Uh, there's an English Navy here with like 18 ships. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this guy up here. Set him right there, because he's got a command star. I want him to initiate the attack, because otherwise they're not going to be able to form one fleet. This guy is going to come in and help him out. We'll attack. And we sunk them. Good. They're gone. Oh, you didn't get another command star? You're lame. Okay. Now, let's see, where you can you guys move? You can still have normal movement. I'll just leave you there for the moment. Now, you will go over here to Mole. You will go right there. Now, um, I'm going to take these guys off and besiege the Isle of Islay. And bring the rest of the army. And then I'm going to bring everyone except for those archers over to join him. Now we have a 20 unit army, we'll merge them together. And then, let's see, we're gonna bring this guy as far back this way as we can. Okay, and then, uh, I can't see. These are all gonna merge up together and form one fleet. And we'll merge those together. All right, that's that situation sorted. Uh, we'll come back to that. Okay. You need to recruit a unit of garrison. Um, I want to convert this to a castle so it has some defense and I can recruit units. I probably should have done this earlier. Alright, now over here. This guy's going to get back on the boats. Actually, we'll move that forward just a few steps. Bring you down as far as you can go. Looks like that's right there. And, uh, actually, let me see if there's a better position for that. Maybe I can get him in the trees. And that way, if Legend comes up there with a ship, they won't actually see him. Okay, let's see if we can get him on a better spot there. It's really a little bit far inland to go. Does standing right there work? Oh. Um, see, I really want this guy to be in charge of the army because he um, is a drill master and really can get more movement, but he doesn't have as much command as this dude does. So we're... Um, actually, he's not a drill master. He has a similar trait. I think it's called, like, driven, yeah. Um can if we stand right there does that work no oh well uh okay we'll just go back to the, where we were standing before hopefully we don't get attacked Yes, my 
Oh, there we go. Perfect. We got it. Awesome. That's exactly what I want to say right there. Alright, now this guy is on a poor trading resource. There's a better one over here. Good. Trading iron for 124 irons. I think that's the most valuable resource in the area. Um, what else are we doing? You're doing what you can. Oh, wait, what? Dude, he's not even on a resource. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to build... We need to increase our income. And the best way to do that is... Um, well, I don't have any places eligible for ports. Which would be the default thing. Oh, did we build... Oh, we didn't build siege equipment here. That would have been bad. Um... I want to increase, ports would be the most uh, financially profitable, but farming can be also. So I just need to see which settlement will get the most benefit from farms. So you got a poor harvest here, that's what'll get me 291 florins minus corruption. Um, you will get an excellent harvest of 396, that looks promising. But a corruption of 336. Yikes. Um, okay. So maybe something close to the capital. How about you? Excellent harvest of 396 and only 107 corruption. Okay, that's even better. How about you? Oh, uh, you just get like regular land clearance. But you'll get 233 without any corruption. Okay. Uh, wow, math. Three ninety-six minus one hundred seven. Okay, and two thirty-three. Okay, the store in a way one is still more. Although it looks like I might actually be able to do both of them, which would be good. Uh, what are my finances looking like? Okay, they're they're decent. Although mole is likely to better than, be better than sky, just because of the capital. So if I did this, nope, it's not good. Okay, so we will just build farms in sky. Okay, and starting away, of course. All right, I think that is about all we can do this turn. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just have a look at how things stand. I'm still very worried about this uh, situation right here, um, but there's nothing we can do about that at the moment. Uh, overall ranking I've gone slightly down, and that's just because I lost my giant army at Castletown. Military, yeah. Production. Okay, let's look at everyone. There's not too many people in this uh, campaign. Uh, I want all factions. There we go. Okay, so Wales is obviously gone. They're off the charge. Ireland is doing okay. England got, went back up. Territorially, they went back up last turn, too. Uh, financially, everyone went down. Um, I've gone up recently, which is good. And popular, yeah. Uh, okay. So. Alright. So that's about all we can do this turn. Uh, thank you all for watching. Go check out everyone else's, everyone else's channels in the description below. And like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all in part five. Goodbye.